Controversy has divided Academy School District 20 recently due to Board President Tom Lavallee's comments made in a video posted for a local church this summer. The Board President's recent comments are about parents' rights over books and materials in a school setting. The issue has torn groups of both parents and students in protest, both in support and opposition of Lavallee's statements. Stroll through the school library. If you see objectionable material, go to the teacher or librarian, or better yet, take several others with you who are like-minded. If you don't get a satisfactory answer, then go to the principal, superintendent, or bring it to our attention on the Board of Education. I think that the, the book review, um, I think the board should handle it on a, definitely an individual basis. Obviously, there's very strong opinions on all sides of the issue. Um, it's great that the district has a book review process. I think definitely the, the board should take up the book review, but I, I think it's good that the parents have the, that process. And however the board rules, I think that that process will have been done justice. There are so many ways to get involved, so many ways to find out that information of what your kids do and see. Teacher conferences, go online. How many people actually read the emails the teachers send home and actually read the books their children are reading? There's so many ways out there to get your information. Currently, parents do have a choice, right? So any parent can go in and say, I don't want my child to access young adult material, YA material. The librarian flags their account, they can't check it out, right? So that's a simple solution. They should not be removing a book so no one can have access to it. KRM also interviewed two Pine Creek students that shared their grievances at the board meeting. I think a prime example of the objectionable material would be one of the scenes in our production of Puffs, which is a contemporary play uh, parodying the Harry Potter series. In this scene, we have um, pairs of students who are kissing, they're not kissing. We ended up just pairing up whoever we had uh, on stage in that scene and at rehearsal that day. Uh, because of that, it's been called to our attention that we needed to change that scene and that those changes only affected same-sex pairs um, within that, regardless of how those students identified personally or who their characters were in the story. And I know that um, me and my fellow Pine Creek student also speak about LGBTQ plus matters. Um, and I think the fact that the community and the school board and specifically the administration at our school is allowing for these subtle discriminations to happen is a complete injustice to LGBTQ plus students and to the LGBTQ plus community in Colorado Springs. I think um, District 20 and our school board really need to address this and set a precedent of allowing students to read whatever material and interact with whatever t material they'd like. Karen was able to get an interview with the board's treasurer. It's okay to not agree with things, but I don't believe in limiting them. So I am not a fan of um, banning books because I think that it's important for everybody to have an opportunity. I also used to work for a company that was a book company and um, I heard a quote that was this library has all kinds of books for all kinds of people but not all of these books are for all people. Karim attempted to interview Tom LaValle and several of his supporters at the board meeting but they declined to comment at this time. This has been Logan Bear for Karim signing off.